Yo, what is up? Super Chai here. I just came back for the holidays and I'm a little sick right now. I just went from Pensacola to Washington and I think my virus is hitting me hard that I got from boot camp. But I'm fine. I'm still alive, so we're gonna get to go. We go with this video though. Bars. I won't be staying here too long, but might as well bring some stuff with me. Like my modern consoles. Like my PS4, Xbox One, my Nintendo Switch. I do want to bring something else though. I do want to bring my Nintendo GameCube with me. Like the Nintendo GameCube was part of my childhood while growing up, and I was dying to get one. I ended up getting it on my 7th birthday, which was on July 2016. But next thing you know, a couple months later, it was being shadowed by the Nintendo Wii. So, that's basically out of the question for fun time with the GameCube. But, I still had fun. It was definitely a step up from the Nintendo 64, displaying it in 40i and 48p resolution, while the previous console was supporting 240p. Y'all know the red, white, and yellow cables that came with the GameCube called the composite cables, right? And that was basically the main solution to playing your GameCube. It's connected to the back of your console, connected to your TV, and there you go, you can play your game from now. But there is another plugin that's in the very left of the plugin. plugin. As you guys already know, the early life of the GameCube supported digital output. Which means component cables were supported for the GameCube. Yes, component cables are supported, but they are analog, not digital. There is a chip in the component cables that convert digital into an analog signal. The downside to these component cables was that it was only sold through Nintendo's online store. Then, a couple years later, it was removed due to the lack of sales. I used to have a GameCube that only supported AV output. Now I just bought another one that, that supported digital and AV component outputs. Why you ask? Because I just bought myself one. The reason behind this is that I wanted to output the best resolution I can get from the GameCube. You'll see later in the video what I'm talking about. But as you guys can tell, it is very rare and very expensive, ranging from $200 to $300. So how much was mine? It was $225. You may think I'm a broke boy and wasted all my money from my bank account, but I used my credit card for this shit and... You know, I'm like slowly paying this. Anyways, since it's in the box, let's just unbox this. So let's just unbox this shit. All right. So this, so this is the official component cable box. So it's just gonna be a quick fix, or you know, shit like that. You know, I'll bring the box right here. Oh wow. So, here's the component cables, which are worth a lot of fucking money. Sorry, Sierra's mouth. Um, yeah. Well, well, there's the official output right there, and you know, you can see. And there's the official component cables right here. Holy shit, it's so unfocused. But, you know, since we have this, holy shit, I feel so... See, I feel so manly holding this. I have some rare, rare stuff in my shit, in my hands right now. But I feel so powerful. Anyways, let's try to test some of the games out and see if this worth, if this really worth the money. So let's go do that. As you can tell from the intro, yeah, the opening screen is, looks really washy and yeah, it's, it's just really. Just flickery. Uh, this is 480 uh, 480i, so you can see a lot of flickering, flickering around. But uh, let's go into some gameplay. Oh yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my capture card, but it just it just looks darker, and there's not really much. Yeah, there's not really much lighting, but that's like, but that's just my capture card, which is kind of weird. But I mean, you can still see. Like what's wrong with composite? Like you see, look at the as you can see from the icons. Like it's not really much detailed. It's not really smooth at all. And you know it's just it's not really it doesn't really look good to the eye. Like just imagine this from a like a just from a mo modern TV. Then yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look uh, fuzzy and all that. And it's just me, just you know, break freaking um, being rusty in melee. Yeah. 
yeah, so I was playing this on, on my uh, TV, and yeah, there was like a lot of lag to this. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, zero, still at the zero percent, and you know, styling off of him. So this is S video. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a, uh, this should be the normal uh, brightness, but. Yeah, this is still considered 480i, but let's get into some gameplay. You can see a massive difference in the in the in the entrance or the intro. All right, so yeah, the color is much brighter. Of course, not really, not really gonna be much for that. But as you can see, the quality is a bit better. Like you can see a little bit more detail on the on the icons. Again, uh, lag, but less lag than before. But I, I, for some reason I've been having some like flickering issues with having a uh, S video. But other than that, this this is another option if you guys want to have like best video quality off of your GameCube then co uh, then compare then getting the component cables so as video is a great option definitely for the for a very decent price I mean if you want to get that then it you should get it okay so here's component <laughs> I guess the better the quality the brighter the brighter is gonna get it <laughs> looks like here but yeah you can see like like there's no flickering there's no shit like that it's a way smoother than uh, it's way smoother than s video definitely um yeah there's more detail in the icons right there it's more i can see more stuff in the battlefield this is just me going ham right now but yeah this is yeah, th th yeah, this is like really good, really good quality right here. I'm just, I'm just looking at myself. Just holy crap! I'm just destroying this dude, even though it's like a level one bot. But you know, but you can see the backgrounds are more. You can see, yeah, you can see more of the backgrounds. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just more clear. Of course, less lag apparently. Um, since 4 480i is not com like upscaling to 1080p and shit like that with all that the de interlacing stuff, but yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, so here's the comparison up close between composite S video and component. Let's start with composite real quick. Yeah, I kind of turn up the exposure a bit to kind of even out with the rest of the rest of the other other two. And yeah, it's really fuzzy. Uh, you can see from the eyes, it's not really, not really all detailed. It's just all blurry. Not, not much to it. You can barely see the letter A and Falco's name. And yeah. So next up, S video. Everything's much clearer, much more clear. You can see the little, you know, the light and Falco's eyes. Uh, the name is name is more clear. The stars are a bit better, um, better color I get or better yeah, yeah it's better color. Um, it's still interlaced, but it's still doable. Like you can see like the little, the flickering going on. All right, then we go into components. Yeah, yeah everything's just much better. Um, it's more smoother and better English I should say. But you, it's, yeah, it's more smooth. You can see the detail on the on his jacket, on his eye, in his eyes. Yeah, it's just much better than than the other two. You can you can also see in the in the very in the top part of the pictures, like the Peach's name right there. And if you see if you go back to back on um, composite and component, yeah. Yeah, you can see the letter P being all messed up and stuff like that. And so, yeah, that's the, basically the difference between these three. So what are my thoughts on this component cable? Well, I highly do not recommend it at all. 
unless you're that hardcore of a person, then by all means, go, go do it. But look at the bright side. There are more options out there, surprisingly. After like over a decade, the one that I recommend is called the Eon GCHD Mark II. Eon's original model made you display only HDMI output, but now the new model, the Mark II, makes you output HDMI and component cables at the same time. Just a heads up, it is pricey, marking at $150, but it is a two for one deal, so you're getting component and HDMI out of your GameCube at the same time. Overall, if you wanted to get the best picture on your GameCube, then get yourself the GCHD Mark II and not spend as much money as I did. Hey, what up? Super Chai here. Hope you guys had a good holiday break. I'm pretty sure I did too. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. But anyways, um, just to let you guys know, I'll of course not be in this household in the next couple days, but yeah, I'm going to be heading off back to the Navy and doing Navy stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be stationed in Japan, but I'm, I'm definitely going to bring my stuff with me, like I said in the video, but... I'm going to leave my computer here because I don't want to deal with taking it apart and, you know, yeah, that big of a move. But I will not be making videos or have a computer over Japan in the next couple of weeks because I'm a broke boy because of the, you know, component cables. Yeah, I'm going to be saving up for a computer over there and, you know, just be laying down in my barracks with the phone in my hand, obviously, obviously, but anyways, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, stay tuned, <laughs> even though it's gonna be a while, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like on this video, comment down below, I'll see you guys next time, and have a happy new year.